Salutations, fellow poop smiths of the manners and all manner of lords. Uh, we are finally jumping into this. I've been eagerly awaiting this game since 2020. I have been following this game since 2020. It's been on my wish list that long. Quite a long time, man. A lot has changed since 2020. Mm, yeah. Let's go in and start a new game. Oh, ho, ho. well, my name is Green Beef. Well, the Beef of Green. Of course. The Beef of Green is here. This guy looks like a Beef of Green. He's got the scar over his eye. Like, yeah, I did some stuff. I almost lost an eye, but I didn't. Here I am. Uh, background color has got to be green. Duh. Am I going to be the beehive? I don't think so. Is there a cow? If there's a cow, I must have it. Where is the cattle? Oh, yeah, mess with the bull, get the horns, baby. Or something like that. I'm not a Texan. Multiple. Man, there's a lot of customization on this. How cool is that? I think I'm going to go to a different one. We'll do the V. Consummate Vs, of course. We'll be... We'll have the pants, we'll have the, the cow, and I'll change my last symbol to be the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. Very good. This is my thing. We are a new game. This is Beef of Green. I am this guy, although that guy has a very fabulous mustache. And I have one as well. Okay, we're going to be on default difficulty because I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of a blind run. I've played the demo many, many moons ago. And we'll just roll like this, man. Default. Let's go for it. Ooh, a little laggy right out the gate. Here we are with our little hovel. We have a new message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I will unite these lands under my rule. And of course, it's standard, not that, you know, metric stuff. All right. Supplies panel. Shows how much we got left. We need to do stuff. I need to build, um... Stuff. <laughs> Strengths and weaknesses. Oh, resource deposits. Good. Or, I can howl. I need to build a logging camp. Probably some hovels. Where's the housing? Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is how it works. <laughs> Storehouse, a granary, residential, oh, the burgage plot. Now, the cool thing about this is you basically just draw it out. It's kind of like city skylines in a way, but more medieval. Really cool game. Well, both are. What happened to my road here? Why does this look stupid? <laughs> I don't know. Let's build. How about this? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work for now. <laughs> For now. I don't know if it'll actually work. Okay, how do I how do we finish this? Oh, you click that. I see. I'm a bit of a dumb. We're gonna need um water, which apparently is over here. Oh. We'll put it right here on the road. How about that? Oh, can I put it right here? No, I can't fit it there. Okay, right there for that. Uh yeah, got it. Unassigned families. Okay. I need... Hopefully I didn't screw myself over here and not get my wood up. Like she said, you know. Big problem sometimes. Uh, we're gonna go way out of here. Build our logging camp out there. Deal with all that. Great. Hopefully I've got enough wood to build everything we're doing. Create a new unit. Oh, we can form a militia. Requires oxen to be moved. Oh. It to be physically moved and we can speed it up. Look at that. That's really cool. Oh, look at that. And the level of detail in this game is phenomenal. Not gonna lie. Let's zoom way out. Whoa! Diplomacy with the outlaws and the Hildebold von Berenreuter. This view shows you the regions under control. We don't really control this, but we have iron, stone, Berries, wild animals, and clay. Very nice. And they have a rich deposit of that. What's our rich deposit? Berries. What are the berry kings, man? Oh, I see. There's my berry deposit. Very nice. We have clay. 
There's my little hovel here. Okay, well, we're working. I'm going to continue building stuff. Uh, let's get a... Oh, I have a logging camp. I need a woodcutter's lodge. I see. Let's build this. Can I, can I join it? No, not really. Uh, this seems like a great place for that. Uh, we'll get... You know, saw pit? Man, I need all kinds of stuff. We need a foraging hut out here. Uh, do I have to build it way out here in the middle of nowhere? I don't know that I need to. Could I just build it here and they go out into the woods? Perhaps. Let's do that. Now I need a storehouse to store all this crap. I need a granary. Man, I need so much crap. I don't have enough goods. Okay. Well, we're going to speed up the game a little bit. Uh, we have homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families. Okay, so there's residential requirements. Where is that at? We have five level one families, eight dudes, two ladies. No retinue. We're getting there, man. We're building stuff. Our church level is not very good. We have a hitching post here. Cool. I'm going to bump up the woodcutter's lodge because I feel like I really need that. Can I tell people to just chop stuff? No. Family members join them. Oh. Cool. Look at this place. Summer's coming soon, apparently, according to that guy. Great. We're building stuff, man. Building stuff and things. Look at these dudes. He's flattening the ground. Great. Hans? Hans, Bl Hans Bricks? No. We've got Bartomes. We've got... Peter Bartomes. Jorg Hans. Who else do we have around in these parts? Tomas. Margreth. Another Bartomes. Hey, you can't have two Bartomes in the same place. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some have spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Berenreuter. Let's write back. Ooh, I actually have to write, write back to him? Cool. Oh, this is, this is a pretty cool setup. I have no rightful claim. You have no rightful claim to Silbitz in Hofstetten. Yeah. I require silver for my endeavors. Your time has come. Take that, you dirty bastard. How we doing? We getting somewhere? Get a little home for people. A hovel, if you will. Good, we're building the woodcutter's lodge first. I think we'll be able to get it done. I hope we have enough goods. I don't know, maybe I screwed it up. I don't read so good, right? Jeez, get off me. Oh good, we have a woodcutter's lodge. I think there's no assigned families. So you can probably get like bloodlines working this. That's cool. I need one family working here. Oh, you can set individual people? Oh. Interesting. Intriguing, if you will. Good, we're finally getting some stuff done. We got we got water storage. We're hauling the woods. Let's get some more stuff done. I need a granary. Apparently we have not enough goods. Oh, that's cool. They're forming some walking paths, I think. Okay, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hmm. Need a stone cutter camp, but we're not there yet, are we? Uh, eventually I need a saw pit, probably for making more advanced thingies. Got a forager hut going up. Eventually we need a hunting camp for getting meat and hides. As long as it's not Sam Hyde. <laughs> um, what am I getting here? Grow stuff in fields. Get a farmhouse. Get a marketplace for stuff like that. Um, a tavern is very important. Probably go on this area over here. That would make the most sense, I believe. Oh, you know, I wonder if these are supposed to be like game tracks and not people tracks. Because that looks more like game tracks to me. I basically grew up in a woods, just so you know. Uh, let's work on... Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to go with the roadside first. I gotcha. I just don't have enough goods. Okay, well, I can't do this yet until I get some wood chopped, and then I turn it into something else. Good. 
Lives, while human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. Okay. Cool. Is this done? Let's add one family to this. Get all our log storage going. Very good. We do have wild animals to deal with. Our berry deposit's pretty good. We're working on this too. Get that foraging going, but I really need to get the granary going. That's that's big for me. That's a big friggin' deal. Oh, we're rich in clay too, huh? What do we can do with clay? Make pottery, maybe? Oh, we can make more roads. I probably want to build roads going out to here, so... Let's expand this. Down to about there? Yeah, I think that makes sense. There are some roads down here, so I could connect into those. Let's do that. Done. Fantastic. Yep, I need a storehouse. Where can I build a storehouse at? That'd be probably here in logistics. Derp. But I need the I need the wood. So we need to finish this first, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Well it looks like I can get my granary going. That'll be good for food storage, and then we can work on other things as assigned. Oh, we have the overlays too. Cool, we got water. Emmer fertility? Hmm. So it's more fertile over here. Flax fertility is not great, but we have a small patch there. A little patch there. A little patch there. Barley? We can grow a little bit right there. A little bit over here. That might be my barley fields. Rye? We can grow a lot around these parts. Maybe a little bit over here. Smell. <laughs> we got smell of vision, fellas. A new mercenary company available. Okay. Hire some mercs. Those are the... Oh, we got our foragers up. Great, we're gonna get one forager going. One family to forage. I need more wood, though. That's the big thing. I need, I need logs. A little bit of everything. We need more people. So what I need to do is get more burlage going. What does this cost me? Oh, let's get a stonecutter camp. I really need that in my life. There we go. A family requests more market area for their stall. Oh, so we need a market. Okay, I'd say I put my market over here. That would make the most sense. Let's go to... Is that residential? Wooden church corpse pit. Um, yeah, there we go. Market. I think that's more fertile area, so I don't want to take that up. There we go. We'll have a lot of market stalls there along the main road. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots close to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. Oh, so I'll probably build a lot of my family housing here, like in this area, behind all this. So let's build some more roads. I love how everything just snaps together. I think that's really cool. So what I'm going to do is come down here and we'll loop back around this area. I like the idea of having this central tree for some, th some reason or another. <laughs> Whatever that reason is, I don't know. Uh, yes. I do hope we have enough wood to finish this building. It would be most embarrassing to run out halfway through. It would be embarrassing, so don't. <laughs> Go get more, you doofus. Nice work. All right, the granary is done. We may store the food in the granary, in the pantry. Not the short tree, because they're not wearing shorts. They're wearing pants or pantaloons, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and get a storage house, because I can afford it now. I'll put that sucker right there. Works for me. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm working it. I'm working it, dude. Got a firewood stall done. Nice. Oh, look at that. He can sell his wares there. Of the under variety, of course. 
Let's get our burgage plot going. I'm going to line that along there. Well, I can't build this yet because I need six. I really like the idea, though. And we have a storehouse. Very nice. And I'm getting three more burgage plots. That should cover our family needs, I believe. We have a food stall here for the berries. We have our woods, firewood stall. I like that people actually have to sell their wares. I think that's really cool. All right, only one needs to work there. I would like these guys to stay kind of open to do whatever they want. That's kind of the idea. We're working on this next to Stonecutter Camp. We'll get clay production here pretty soon. I think that's probably a smart move considering we have rich deposits of it. Uh, I need to get the wooden church, but I need to be able to produce planks first. Tavern would be good. It'd be a big win for my, my people. I like the idea of putting a tavern like right here. Or main along, mainly along the main road here. At this intersection. I think that's cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Dig them deeper, buddy. Getting some glitches here in the roads. Oh well. Things happen. Early access and all that. Look at that. We're building stuff. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, whitewashing the walls. Beautiful. I like how everything just kind of joins together. That's probably one of the coolest things in this. Family members joined one of the settlers. Nice. Okay, so this tells you if they are getting supplied or not. Cool. There we go. Nice. How about this? Still coming along, it seems. Get a bunch of market stalls. I should be plenty. We need to get clothing production up. We need to get this done. What else do we need to build? Production. I think I want to get some more farming going. Um, let's look. Plotting the fields. They need to be very large to be effective. Okay, so it looks like this is a very fertile place. I suppose it depends on what you're plotting, or planting rather. Let's do this. I'm just going to go over. Point one Morgan. Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> Let's just go here. Oh, weird. Okay. I can't make it too weird. Let's make this a very long field. Uh, farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionately in accordance with the field set priority levels. Uh, they absorb certain nutrients in the, f the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility. Oh, interesting. So you gotta do crop rotation manually. Pretty cool. So what I need is a farmhouse. I think this side is probably smart for the farmhouse. There we go. I like how it just organically grows, right? Everything follows where its need is. Pretty damn cool. We've got it fallow. Uh, we're going to grow wheat here for now. Oh, you can set the different years. Oh, that's cool. Third year, we're going to leave it fallow. Okay, we're going to do two seasons, and then we're going to go fallow. Interesting. We got a tavern. Oh, how cool is that? Oh no, it's still being built. Okay, never mind. It doesn't really show you the progress. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like it. I'm going to assign one family to the pantry, so they actually move stuff. And one to the storehouse. Unassigned families need needed for construction work. Oh, okay, so i got to turn one of these down. I need somebody to just go work. Cool. Oh, well, there goes my central, uh, <laughs> my central tree that was going to look cool. Oh, well. I can get more burgage here. I think that makes sense. You have a good amount of homes right here. Um, let's do that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these ones a little bit longer. There we go. There we go. And we're going to do some more over here. Bursting with flavor. 
Is that one big plot? Holy crap, somebody's gonna have a massive plot of land. Okay, great. This should handle all of those needs. Storehouse, stuff just needs to get moved. Really, that's what it comes down to. We got a marketplace, we got a tavern, we need this, but we need to produce some more things. We got all this industry that we'll need. Need more people first. Oh, I can get this pack station, which I should be able to fit, I'm hoping, right here. Oh, man. Wish I had a little more room there. That would be a pretty cool spot to have it. Oh, well. Maybe we'll put it right by the tavern. That makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. New mercenary companies available. Let's get a hunting camp going, because we've got a nice place for them to hunt in here. We need hides. We need to be able to grow all that stuff. I need a soffit to make planks. So we'll do... I'd say something right here. This is all my timber industry right here. We'll get a forester hut right there to handle all that business. There we go. Resource stolen by bandits. Those dirty bastards. It's because I left it out? Oh, no. Well, homelessness shouldn't be a problem here shortly. We've got homes going up. Shouldn't be an issue very shortly. Well, everything's been put in the storehouse now. We should be okay now. They stole a little bit of our iron, unfortunately. Big iron, of course. I need to get more things. We got trade. Trading posts? Okay. Livestock trading post. Administration. Get our settlers camp. I guess later we'll upgrade our manor. A shrine. I can erase shrubberies. Are they three tiered shrubberies or just one or two? Who knows? We got a lot of stuff going on. Ah, <laughs> uh, this guy will deal with all of the things. Do I put it on here? Oh, I see. So we'll we'll put that on top of that deposit and we'll work that. I'm gonna build some roads that go out here. Got an iron deposit out there we could get to. We're not quite there, though. Good, we're getting berries. We're getting everything. This is good. Okay, well, settlement level has increased. Ooh, we got free resources added. What is this? Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. And you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows. Either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. Okay. How do we do this? Here, army. Yeah, create new unit. Okay. We have spears. So it shall be a spear unit. The spear mints, if you will. You've created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They've got required equipment. Um, depends on the residential level. Oh, interesting. After bringing all these necessary equipment home, the units unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Okay. Cool. What can I do there? What is this? I can rally them? Okay. Cool. I like it. Oh, you can get... Oh, dude. You can get your own gardens and stuff. How cool is that? I guess that's the real benefit of having a larger spot. Oh, you can upgrade it. Oh, they need extensions. I see. Oh, I can double the size. Oh, that's cool. So there's no backyard stuff on this one. Have a veggie garden. Oh, cool. This one's too small for that, I believe. How about these ones? These are just upgradable. I can boost the living space. Let's do it. This one, I can also do the extra living space, so we're going to do it. These ones are going to be smaller, but this one's going to produce carrots. Cool. Give me the veggie garden. There's birds flying. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, you know what? My little settler thing is gone. 
Does that mean I can do a manor? Hmm. Oh, you can plot it down on these empty ones, huh? So this is not claimed. Oh, so I can I can branch out and take these regions. I see. There's a lot of animals here. There's more animals here. So animals, animals, stone deposits. Here they get more berries. Ooh, a rich iron deposit. That seems like a good one to get. Hmm. I don't know if we're quite ready to expand to another settlement. Construction finished on my pack station. Great. I don't know what I have in high quantities. Fuel? Oh, we got a saw pit. This is good. This is good. A lot of people working now. We got people doing berry work. Hunting camp's done. Good. We're going to get some more food and bit of meat. It's good. We got our farmhouse. Oh, we can start planting stuff. I can add a plowing station. Oh, I need development. New tech and stuff, huh? Interesting. Wild animals have migrated. Do we have more? Oh, they actually move. Oh, how cool is that? Huh. Intriguing. Oh, our mining pit's done. Good. We're working on the stonecutter's camp. We'll get stone. We'll get clay. Oh, I don't know what we do with clay besides pottery and stuff. I'm not sure yet. Oh. Okay. You can specialize the region in development. Huh. I get a development point. Okay, so I can now... I can... Specialize it. Okay. Doubles the capacity of berry deposits. Deposits. That's pretty good. Hmm. I don't think this place would be good for armor making just yet. Let's double berries. Forest management. Very good. Policies. I have no policies. No production. Cool. That's really awesome. So you can really specialize in individual regions. I like it. Quite a bit. Can I just build this out here? No command over the region. Uh, interesting. So I'm running out of logs. I've got a logging camp. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'm not too worried about it. Good. We got a stone cutter camp. We got clay production, stone production. I think that's going to boost us a little bit. They got some of their armaments here. No armor, though. Not ideal. Let's rally our troops just a little bit. Moving your units. Okay, select them. Right click to move them. You can drag them to form them. Cool. It's kind of like a uh, total war back in the day. I want to rally my troops. Morale, you got fatigue. Cool. Let's line them up for inspection. Time to inspect the troops. Rally to me, gentlemen. Maybe we'll go take on those dirty buggers in the uh, next neighborhood. Huh? The Frito Banditos. Maybe not yet. <laughs> they probably have better arms than we do. This ragtag militia. Alright, let's, th let's get three ranks. Let's see how your marching ability is. Your DNC. Not very good, you gaggle. I wonder if they get better at that later. Spear wall. Good about face, gentlemen. All right. I'm going to tell you guys to disband. Uh, no, wait. All right. Disband. Go back to your, uh, your homes and deposit your weapons, please. Very good. All right. I think I need to build more Burgage plots, to be perfectly honest. Probably going to build them off here if I can. All right. We're going to build a whole bunch, and they're going to have backyard extensions on these three. Now that I know you can give them backyard extensions by extending the plot, that makes sense. Oh, what? I can walk around my town? How cool is that? Can I, can I go to my tavern? 
Look at my fancy cape. What am I, a hell diver? Can I go in the tavern? Oh my lord. Commander Lord, of course. Well, that's pretty cool. I can still clip through walls, but you know. As any good lord, you should, with your pointy toes, clip through walls. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, we've got more families able to move in now. You can have a chicken coop. You can have nothing, because I can't afford it. <laughs> but I'll put a chicken coop back there. Look at that, we got chickens. Your birds, if you will. Alright, we've got extra burgage plots, that's great. We're gonna let that happen and we'll build out the uh, backyards soon enough. We've got Ditz, Viet, Anna, Ott, Endlein, Erhard. I'm getting big, man. Approval is arrow down but green. <laughs> Alright, we got all our burgage plots done. What I need to start doing is probably getting other things. Resource stolen by bandits, you son of a bitch. I think they would they would cook my bacon in a day if I tried to fight them until I get more people. Let's be honest. I got 12 people in my militia. If I get a full militia, I'm going to go raid the pants off them and take this territory. But not yet. We're not there. A bandit camp was sighted. Oh, there's one over there too. I would like to take that one. But we'd have to take this one and this one, I suspect. How do I press a claim? I need influence. Claim with King's Favor. Okay. Let's talk to these guys. Oh, yet another dog has crawled here, huh? <laughs> take that, you dirty bastard. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, back to town. A new family has moved in. Lovely. Good deal. We're getting more people. This is good. We need more people to be able to do more things. That much is true. Slowly getting there. Well, it looks like my morale is going up a bit, which means more people will come. I'm going to dedicate somebody to work in the storehouse. I'd like to get this, but I need some more stuff. <laughs> Finally, we're moving things to the storehouse. Clearing out some backlogs. We're already in autumn. We're gonna hit winter soon. I don't think we have clothing to speak of. So what we need to start working on are other industries. Uh, I can do a malt house. I'm not quite there. Weaver's workshop. Hmm. A leather maker. Take hides and make leather. I think that's smart. We'll do that. Very well. Build that, please. Oh, winter is coming. One may say. We are waiting for it. Can I afford this? No. I need more wealth. Got more time for that. A new family is moving in. Very nice. Starting to fill out our families. Our burgages are filling up. We have more workers. Or people for the militia. Perhaps we go fight those dirty bastards. Although I don't really have the arms for them, I don't think. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Well, alright folks. I think that's going to do it for this inaugural episode of I Can Owl. <laughs> for me. Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I think. Maybe I'm going to get raided a whole bunch here shortly. But we have a small militia. We've uh, got our burgages up. We've got plenty of room for more families. And I will continue this game soon. Thanks for joining me, folks, and I hope you join me in the next one. Bye-bye.